We're here with Paul. Tell me, Paul, uh, fourth consecutive draw. Yeah. What are you thinking? How did you see the game? What did you think of the match? Uh, I thought Ibar came at them, to be fair. They didn't, I don't think Real got going. Um, I thought that uh, Ronaldo didn't get in the game too much. Disappointed. I was disappointed in the game overall. It's very bitty. I think Abar had a game plan. I don't know if an early goal was part of the game plan, but that's certainly you could see as soon as they got the goal, 10 men behind the ball, just a striker on the halfway. And it really, Real Madrid, the difference being today, I think it was very disjointed. As Paul mentioned, I don't think the strikers got involved in Benzema was anonymous first half. I thought by bringing Morata on to change it, it was exactly the same pattern for the second half. What were you expecting before the game? What were you expecting to see here? I was thinking it was going to be a, a Bale and Ronaldo show. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah that's I what we all wanted to see. <laughs> they were going to run it and uh, so a um, little bit disappointed we come all the way over here to see it. But hey, you get great stadium, great place. So the thing is you were talking about uh, Abar's game plan, which I agree with you. Uh, but you say like it's kind of normal to see teams kind of maybe not getting an early goal, but like 10, main, 10 men I behind the ball. Why can't we, like why don't we have a plan against that? Is, it's, like, it's not like they're surprised at Wizard. I, I don't know what you think, but for me, as I've always thought this about Real Madrid, so many individual talents, whether they're a team, whether they can all gel, because when it does gel, you're putting seven, eight goals past teams, Real Vallecano, whoever it may be. But when it doesn't quite, you feel, like even there was a free kick at the end, I saw Pepe turn away from the ball, didn't want it. Didn't want to take it, didn't want to try and find someone with it. And then you start doing that when you realize, well, we'll give it to Ronaldo and let him deal with it. There doesn't feel there's that team there still for me. What do you think well, we needed, like that extra thing to win? What was it that wasn't there? Just like that killer, well, you say that killer instinct at the end, the touch, the final ball, a um, little bit of luck, didn't have that today. So the one that come across, yeah, so I think a few bits missing, but. With the roster we have, do you think we should be depending so much on guys like Modric, for example, or? Big miss. Massive miss. Even Sergio Ramos, if you think about set place, he scores his fair share from set pieces. He's a talker, he's a leader. Maybe you're missing that a little bit today with Varane and Pepe at the back. But Modric is a class player. We've seen it in the Premier League back home for Tottenham. So what do you think we have to do to, to win again? It's uh, like we're stuck in this like drawing thing. Like Yeah, I, I just didn't see the forwards getting involved. Benzema, Morata, the, the ball doesn't seem to come to them at the moment. So, yeah, need to work on that, I would say. The Benzema Morata thing. Who do you who do you think is more match fit nowadays, and why is Zidane like starting Benzema so much? Maybe I don't know. I'm not going to say it's the French link. I don't think that's fair to say that's the, be the easiast thing to do. Yeah. Benzema's had a lot of off-field problems. He didn't get selected for the Euros. There's issues like that. I don't know if mentally it's playing with him. Morata scored a hat trick in the Champions League, I think, or one of the league games a while back. My issue more is not about the personnel. It's the system. I think we're looking at 4-3-3, but I, they just did not get involved. They weren't. They're not hold-up players. Benzema maybe could be. He's got a physical presence. He can hold the ball up and bring others in. But there was no balls coming into him to feet. But again, as we said at the beginning, I'm going to give credit to Abar for that. So we're going to keep that credit for Abar. Wayne, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much for your knowledge. And uh, a la Madrid, guys. A la Madrid.